So a couple of weeks ago, I asked you guys in the comment section what you wanted to see me make with this electromagnet. So the top answer was a electromagnetic Spider-Man web shooter. So basically, I'm going to make it so you can shoot this thing up, it'll stick onto something metal, and then you can hopefully swing from it if the magnet's powerful enough. So yeah, it's going to be able to stick onto metal like this. So let's go get right into it. Alright, so basically I'm going to put this thing all together by putting the electromagnet at the front, getting some aluminum bar, bending them, screwing them together, putting the battery somewhere in there, and then there's going to be a steel pole around here that's going to go into a PVC pipe or something, and then a tube that has some sort of way to shoot the thing out. So there's three ways we can do this. The first way is some sort of explosion in the tube, and I don't know if I'm going to use that way because... I need to buy a certain valve for the propane, and I was looking it up, it's around 15 bucks, which is kind of a lot, considering the amount I've spent on this already. The second way is a CO2 bike pump. Now, I've used that for the bean shotgun, but I'm all out of CO2, and I think it's like 2 to 3 bucks per cartridge, which also is pretty expensive. And the third way is to modify the propane system I've already been using, so that is the way I'm going to be making this. So I bent these things a while ago. Now I just need to bend them back straight. So I'm just gonna beat them with a hammer for a while until they flatten out. So I flattened it out. Now I'm just gonna drill a hole in here and then bend the sides up like this, probably about half an inch or so up. And then do the same to the other bar and then drill them together and then I'm going to go out and buy a steel bar or something like that to drill into this. Metal cracked, so I'm just gonna blow torch it. Hopefully, that will fix it. It might, but it probably won't. So yeah, this is not working. The screw got all stripped on here. The drill bit broke, so I can't make any more holes of the of this size. And I don't have a welding kit, so there's so I've no idea how I'm going to how I'm even going to make this. I'm I'm thinking about just using uh some string, tying it through this hole and then looping it around here a bunch. But yeah, that's that's all I could think of right now. So tomorrow I'm gonna go to the store, buy some Kevlar rope or line or something. Make I'm gonna drill a few more holes in it, make sure it's bigger, and then just try to tie this whole thing together with rope because my drill is broken, or the drill bit is broken. All right, so I ended up going to the store and buying this rope. It says it can hold around 160 pounds, and I also bought a drill, another drill bit because I've already broken three somehow. I I I don't know. Another drill bit broke. What the heck? All right, so now that we got out the holes drilled in here, I'm gonna go attach it to this rope and then try to tie everything together and then attach it to this thing.
Alright, so we got the electromagnet part down. So now I just need to make the shooting mechanism, which I've already made. I've already made um something similar to this in the flamethrower video. So basically, uh, I'm going to modify it to make it have more pressure. So yeah, let's go do that right now. Alright, that's going to be it for today's video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment some of your build ideas in the comments below. So, I'm not sure when the next part will come out, probably around a week or two. So yeah, see you guys then.